All right, uh, what I'd like to do is uh, today is, is spend a little bit more time talking about the technology and the products. Uh, and some of you that may have been in uh, yesterday's event, some of this is, is common, but that's actually one of the messages is that we do work on, on common technologies across the board to try to get the affordability uh, there. So today we'll talk about the CMAX hybrid, the CMAX uh, energy, and the Ford Focus All EV. And I never thought I'd be standing talking about all three products that are manufactured in one plant. So that, that's a very exciting piece. One, one of the, the things that uh, we talk about is, is the power of choice. And this is the small car segment or the C segment. And just like we're doing in other segments, this is builds on the messaging that we want to provide the customer that wants to be in this size vehicle different options and different technologies for them to experience. We know that not every customer is the same. So a hybrid customer in general is a customer that wants great fuel economy, but they, they're taking that step into the technology. There's a premium price clearly for, for each of these, uh, but not as high as, as the others. On the other hand, they don't want to change their behavior in terms of having to charge or having to do something different. Uh, so they really don't have to do anything different in their, in their driving habits than their, uh, their gasoline vehicle. And we're, what we're doing today is, is talking about third generation hybrid electric technology. And I'll spend a little, bit talk, a little bit of time talking about that. Then what we did is we took that, that, that electric drive or, or a hybrid drive and we built on that with the plug-in hybrid technology that you see uh, on your very right here with the, uh, with the CMAX Energy. And what that is, is really gives that customer that wants to uh, have electric drive during their daily commute, uh, short commute, just drive to work, maybe charge it at work, come back, charge it at home overnight, and they get electric drive, they use hardly any gas during the week. But then on the weekend when they need to get out of town, this vehicle gets uh, over 500 miles of overall driving. And really, once you deplete the battery, uh, you're, you're in hybrid mode. So you're driving the vehicle as a hybrid, still getting fuel economy over 40 miles per gallon after you're, you're actually depleted the battery. So that's the beauty of, of the in-between from a hybrid to a plug-in. The customer that is looking that usually doesn't have a very long drive, uh, that doesn't want to spend any gasoline, that doesn't want to spend any uh, money on gasoline, that's where the Focus EV really fits the bill. And no engine, no oil, uh, no gas, and as Derek mentioned earlier, the key to all of these technologies is efficiency. And that's the engineering term. The customer term clearly is using less gas and getting the most out of what they bought. All of these vehicles and all our introductions now have lithium ion batteries in different forms and shapes. Obviously, the different batteries suit different uh, driving, uh, e electric drive experience, whether it's a hybrid, a power battery, or more of an energy battery like the EV. Uh, clearly, the, the benefit of lithium ion technology is it's smaller. And that's really, really important, especially when you get into plug-in hybrid and then EVs. Uh, it's lighter, which helps the fuel economy and the efficiency. And very important that it's easier to package. And what that means is, especially in an EV, you want to get the most miles. But at the same time, you don't want to compromise you know, the, the, the basic driving needs of that customer. So you see in this vehicle, you have five passenger seating. It drives uh, just like the base focus. And that's the key element of this EV is the driving dynamics where everybody that had a chance to drive this vehicle uh, is wowed by this is a real car. It's got all the features. It drives the same. It corners. It's fun vehicle to drive. And the other element of a BEV uh, is the instant torque that you get out of the electric motor. There's no delays in that. So once you're driving in and out, the vehicle responds very quickly. And people notice that. When you look at electric uh, drivetrain, and what we're showing here is the, e is the BEV, but really it applies to the hybrid, the plug-in hybrid, and the EV. We spent a lot of time, 20 years of experience, 500 patents, and bring in more and more in-house in terms of technology development. And the, the main reason really is this is a very strategic technology for Ford. And as you can see, it's not only one, but it's three different technologies called electrification. And, and what's really most important for us is to be the most efficient. 
which translates into any attributes that we want, whether it's miles per gallon, miles per gallon equivalent, range, whatever. Uh, the important thing is to make sure that we design the most, Im most efficient components. We don't waste any energy, and the energy that we waste, we try to recapture as much as we can. So these vehicles have a lot of common technologies, whether it's the batteries, the electric motors, inverters, regen brakes. But a couple of things I wanted to highlight is now we're able to recapture more than 95% of the kinetic energy of the braking energy and pump it back into the battery. And that translates into range. It translates into uh, MPG for the hybrid. And it's, by the way, a common system for the brake system. We also removed the belt accessories from our hybrids and our plug-ins, so there's no more loads on the engine when you're driving. The key element there is we're using uh, electric water pump, electric AC, and we even recapture the heat generated from the exhaust system to allow the engine to heat up faster, shut down quicker, and be able to drive more on electric mode. All of these technologies and the seamless integration by the team, the engineering team at Ford, with all the knowledge and controls, because we also uh, run all the controls, all the software in-house to be able to seamlessly integrate. And our goal is to get the most fuel efficiency, but also to make it seamless. So the customer doesn't actually have to feel anything different than what they normally drive. So the transitions you see in our hybrids, we've taken that to the next level, even beyond the fusion hybrid. Talking a little bit about the results of all that, when you look at the C-Max hybrid, it has better MPG, miles per gallon, than the n recently introduced Prius V. And again, we keep the competition ahead of us. We want to make sure that we're ahead of them in terms of MPG, and we look, we look years in advance. On the energy or the plug-in, we also have better MPGE, which is the equivalent, as Derek explained, it gets complicated with the energy, uh, than the Prius plug-in hybrid that I think is, is uh, being introduced. And then it also have more driving range, overall driving range, than the Volt with over 500 miles of uh, driving. And regarding the EV, the best measure of efficiency is MPGE. And we're proud, as Derek mentioned earlier, to have the first five passenger vehicle to have over 100 MPGE. This Focus EV is uh, being introduced and will be launching in 19 markets, as you could see on the screen, in the next year. So you could see that production started and we're ramping up production and the initial markets will have, is what you see on the screen here, the 19 uh, initial markets and then we'll be launching it nationwide. Price after $7,500 uh, tax incentive, federal tax incentive is 32 32,500 and uh, just to note that with some states and, and local there are some other states and local uh, incentives available in some states. One of the key attributes of this Focus EV is the 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger and what that allows us to do is charge the customer to charge in half the time. As Derek mentioned and the screen is still going here on, on your right you can see that Actually, after the customer left the house at about noon, and they drove, in this case, about 50 miles to Ann Arbor, a uh, little, you know, a few miles away from here, and then they charged it, and then they're going to continue their drive. And what's important is if you have short periods to, uh, on your way, whether it's a shopping mall, uh, go home and then have to leave, uh, this, this enables you to put twice the energy in the vehicle in a short period of time and that enables you to drive more. So when people talk about limited range on EVs, that's true on a single charge, and that'll continue to be a challenge, obviously. So what we need to do is make it easy for them to charge it on the way and get more miles during the day. And just to su sum it up on, the, uh, on this is, again, it's a power of choice, hybrids, plug-in hybrids, EVs in the small car segment, in addition, to the customer having the high fuel economy on the base focus. So we're very proud today, and I'd like to turn it over to Eric Keen, who's the chief engineer on the Focus EV, to tell you more about it. All right, thanks, Sharif. 
Welcome, everybody. I uh, welcome you to the uh, Michigan Assembly Plant uh, to be able to uh, take part in this event, like Derek trying to still shake off a little bit of a cold. Um, as Sharif mentioned, my name is Eric Keene. I'm the chief engineer for the Electrified Programs. Uh, one of the things that I'd like to uh, take you through uh, is essentially when we talk about um, this Focus electric vehicle, uh, all of the power comes from this liquid-cooled uh, 23 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. Um, the reason that that's important is that well, from a customer standpoint, when we look at what they're looking for in this driving condition, uh, when it's coupled with this electric motor, this very efficient electric motor, um, they're going to be able to drive gas-free and probably more importantly, uh, emissions free. And so when you think about when uh, customers thinking about uh, what they're looking for in this driving, not only the driving experience, but what they want to try to contribute, uh, it includes things like reducing their overall carbon footprint. Uh, and this kind of vehicle um, serves that purpose. Um, so let's take a little bit of time and say, who is this customer? Okay, so the starting point is when you think about uh, who this customer is, they're traditionally, or they're, um, they tend to be technically savvy people. Um, these are people that are looking for uh, the advantages of what technology can bring and what it can do for them, uh, especially in terms of how it may change or how it may impact, uh, as you see up on the screen, a worldview. Um, so they're thinking about what kind of impact can they have, how can they change to be able to uh, meet what they would want to see as far as how they could have an impact on the earth uh, and how they would have an impact on uh, the daily lives. Uh, but at the same time, they want to be connected, uh, meaning that they don't want to lose sight of as they're having these world views uh, on what they can do. Uh, they have a, a local community, they have friends, uh, they have next door neighbors um, that they also, um, as part of their daily basis, um, that they are very well connected to. Uh, and that they want to stay connected to as they um, go through this process. So at the same time, they want practicality. Um, so even with all of this innovation, even with all of this advanced technology, uh, they want it to be simple. Uh, they don't want it to be overtly complicated, uh, not too hard, not too hard to figure out, um, with all of that culminating into enriching their overall life. Uh, you know, there's nothing more frustrating than having a technology not serve that purpose and they're much quicker to walk away from it. So in each of the aspects, and we're going to show you some of the uh, things that we've done on the Focus Electric to help them as part of this driving experience. Okay? In addition, when you think about um, their overall purchase decision, the purchase is not to define them as an environmentalist. Um, they see it as a purchase decision that is smart, uh, it's the right thing to do. Uh, and the technology itself helps them or aids them in where they want to go. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, what they want to have as far as their impact, um, not only on their community, uh, but also what they want to have on the world. But at the same time, they don't want to give up the attributes of the vehicle. Uh, as Sharif mentioned, uh, we're coming off of the platform for the, uh, the Focus. And with this Focus Electric, uh, is not giving up um, the experiences that they've had uh, in vehicles with how fast it is, um, how responsive it is, the driving dynamics, the steering and handling. So coming off of the gas variant and electrifying this product, they will still get a very responsive vehicle. Uh, it will be able to go over 80 miles per hour. Uh, and as Sharif mentioned, with the instantaneous torque, um, get very, um, uh, very uh, full and enjoying driving experience uh, out of that overall uh, process. Okay. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that when you think about uh, taking a gas variant uh, and turning it into an electrified product, uh, there are very few now uh, or fewer uh, moving parts, mechanical parts. Uh, what does that translate into? Uh, your maintenance schedule changes quite dramatically. Uh, so in this particular case, uh, when a customer has a uh, Focus Electric, um, things like, as uh, Shreve mentioned, the oil changes, uh, other parts of the maintenance schedule uh, becomes more like, uh, when do I rotate my tires? Are my windshield wiper blades working as I need to? And maybe I need to swap those out. Uh, and oh, I probably just need to put uh, some windshield washer solvent uh, in the vehicle. Uh, that's about it. Um, there are a few other things that they uh, may do as part of their overall regimen, um, but with the me less uh, mechanical uh, parts, uh, it becomes a very different uh, overall maintenance plan. And as you see, the overall translation of that is uh, it saves them time, so not the necessity of going into a quick oil change place uh, or into their local dealer to be able to have their oil changed, uh, also saving them money uh, in terms of that overall service process. Okay. One other note about the uh, 
um, the liquid cooled battery. Um, because it is liquid cooled, it allows us to be able to take uh, and actually have the battery operate at more efficient levels uh, in order to be able to support getting that a little bit more in terms of the range. Keeping the battery, whether it's heating or whether it's cooling, uh, at temperatures that allows the vehicle to operate at the most optimal level for getting the most or the maximum amount of range out of the vehicle. Okay. One thing I'd like to do now <clears throat> is uh, actually, I think they've got the camera on the inside. As Derek mentioned, um, what do you think of the seats? They actually look pretty good. Um, the seating material is actually made uh, from a re reprieve fabric. Um, so one of the things that uh, the team spent quite a bit of time on over the course of the development of the program was to still execute, in this particular case, the seats in a way that makes them comfortable, makes them beautiful, makes them luxurious, and make them feel like um, it's a seat like any other seat. Um, that it's better, it has high quality, um, it feels comfortable when they're driving in the vehicle. But at the same time, recognizing that there are things that we can do uh, that can actually recycle products to put into uh, the seating material on this vehicle. Uh, so as Derek had mentioned, in working with this repeat, repeat uh, fabric, uh, we are able to uh, essentially use the plastic bottles that are on your tables, uh, have those recycled, and actually put into um, the seat of this vehicle. So the fibers are 100% um, uh, recycled uh, from either post-consumer or whether it's post-industrial products in order to be able to blend the overall uh, polyester fabric uh, for the seating material. Um, but more impo importantly, what does that culminate into? Uh, it essentially culminates into the ability to try to reduce the amount of landfill waste uh, that is going into the product. Okay. Now let me take you a little bit on the inside because one of the things that we uh, stretched ourselves within the team was in, as we were having the discussions with the customers and the customer groups uh, was what were some of the things that they wanted to see in a battery electric vehicle that would help aid them or help them uh, in this driving experience uh, beyond the fun and excitement of this electrical product. Um, starting from the My4 Touch system and really launching off of that innovation and that technology is taking it one step further. Uh, and essentially when we think of how does the customer want to, and this is what we heard through a number of the clinics, they want to be able to, at a glance, be able to see where they're at relative to their driving range, their final destination, and do they have enough battery capacity to be able to get them there. Uh, one of the things that we did was we worked on uh, uh, a image or a way to be able to communicate that message quickly, and we did that through the butterflies. You can kind of see it on the right side screen. Um, and it's a measure of being able to say how much surplus do you actually have. So if you think about it, you set a destination, you're going 10 miles. Uh, if you have 10 additional butterflies on the screen, it means you're not only going to get all the way there, uh, but you have about 10 miles of additional range uh, in the uh, product to be able to go. So taking a look at it a little bit closer, uh, the design team used what we call the butterfly effect. Uh, so as you know, uh, essentially sometimes a very small thing can have an enormous impact on what you're doing. Uh, and we use that as a means to be able to allow the customer, uh, as I mentioned, to very quickly look at the cluster, um, just at a glance, and as long as they know that they have butterflies on the screen, they know that they can get to their final destination uh, for what they have plugged in. The other thing that we wanted to do is, as the customers had told us, they also wanted to know, uh, at the end of my trip, what have I just done? What have I just contributed um, to this driving experience, um, to, as I'm thinking about, what I can do for the Earth and the impact relative to the world? And so we provide them end of trip information, uh, essentially letting them know uh, that here's how much in this driving experience that you've saved in gasoline free miles so that they can make that and they can resonate with them um, what they've actually just accomplished in driving this vehicle. Okay, One of the other things that we heard uh, from the customers is that they wanted to be able to also know um, what are some of the things that we could be doing differently in the way that we drive. Um, some customers know, hey, I'm very hard on the pedal, I you know, go in deep all the time and I'm a very fast driver. Um, but with an electric vehicle, uh, you need to be a little bit more sensitive to that. And so providing information um, that allows them to adjust their behaviors uh, was very important to them because sometimes they didn't recognize that here's how much difference could be made in how I change my driving habits. So in one particular case, we provide coaching. Uh, and that coaching is actually across several different areas of the vehicle. The one that I've got illustrated up on the screen is around um, the brake uh, recapturing uh, for energy. 
And essentially, each time that the customer comes to the stop uh, at the end of a braking, uh, this display will come up uh, for a brief period of time to let them know of the available energy that they would have been able to capture, how well did they do? So in this particular case, in this braking event, the customer of the 100% of, of the available type of recapturing that they could have done, they only got 75%. This instantaneous feedback to the customer allows them the opportunity to know, okay, the next time I come to a stop, you know, maybe I'll do something a little bit differently. I won't wait until the last minute to actually press on the brake pedal. I'll start braking a little bit sooner. I'll let the regen part of the braking uh, using the electric motor serve that role so that I get as much or I maximize as how much more energy I put back into the battery. And that's just one example. We do things also with the climate control system as well as some of the other accessories. Uh, also around your acceleration um, so that it can give you some tips around how you're doing relative to uh, accelerating on the vehicle. Okay. One of the other things that I'm truly excited about, and actually Bill Frickman's going to be coming up a little bit later, taking you through a little bit more about the My Ford Mobile, uh, but we will be launching with the Focus Electric, the My Ford Mobile technology, which is another extension uh, from the My Ford Touch. So with just your cell phone or at your computer, you will be able to have access and be able to interact with the vehicle as never before. Uh, you'll be able to go through trip planning, you'll be able to uh, set up where you want to go, your destinations, you'll have vehicle connectivity, locking, unlocking of your doors, uh, be able to check your state of charge, where is your vehicle at in terms of the charging process, all by just basically picking up your cell phone and or getting onto your computer and be able to have that connectivity to your car. Okay? But I'm going to let Bill actually go into a little bit more of the detail, and I believe he's got a phone. He's going to be able to show uh, what that application looks like. So with that, what I'd like to do uh, is actually invite John Davis up, uh, who's the uh, chief nameplate engineer for the C-MAX and the C-MAX hybrid, uh, so that John can take you through those programs. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir. Good morning. As uh, Eric and the other presenters ahead of uh, him have already welcomed you to MAP, we're grateful for your presence, and we're excited to tell you about our new products. Uh, the C-MAX. Uh, the new family of hybrid exclusive products that we'll be introducing for North America is really about providing practical and versatile solutions to the customers that need utility, but are also interested in reducing their carbon output and really lowering their fuel costs. And we believe this is a great solution for them, depending upon the level of how far they, they want to take that. The building blocks of this execution is really our power split technology, coupled with our advanced lithium ion batteries. And I know Derek went into some detail already. Sharif obviously talked about that execution in terms of how it fulfills part of our power of choice execution for these vehicles. But again, this is about coupling that technology that we've already proven in the hybrids that are on the road today, enhancing it, coupling it with a new technology in the form of the battery. And that's really about delivering leading MPGs, delivering an extended driving capability in terms of electric mode, and ultimately improving fuel efficiency for the customer. The other thing that we're using as a build-on uh, that John referenced, John Fleming, was that this is about leveraging our global presence, our global footprint, and in this case, the C-MAX is building upon the overall focus platform. Uh, and you'll, it's no secret that we run on a common wheelbase. It's really a build off of the focus platform in and of itself. We create these new top hats, in this case, the C-MAX. And this is then about providing additional flexibility to the customer. So we've got a little more spacious cabin, the flexibility of the interior. We include things like a one motion, a fold flat second row seat. Again, about providing that versatile solution for the customer that needs that in addition to the fuel efficiency that they're going after. So let's talk a little bit more about the customers. CMAX Energy, for us, our first production plug-in hybrid, is about going after customers we called green roamers. Those are customers that are, were probably early adopters of the hybrid. They're very familiar with the electrical vehicle technology. That's not a scare to them. And they're interested in advancing their both knowledge and what they consume as a part of that new automotive technology. 
In addition, they're motivated by things like socially responsible manufacturing. They're active in their communities in terms of the things that they do and participate in. And they'd be, be willing to make more of a statement than maybe other customers might. Ultimately, they want a very efficient carbon footprint, and they're all about also delivering great fuel efficiency, but also the flexibility that they need. And this is why we think CMAX Energy is a great product for those customers. The second vehicle is the CMAX Hybrid. And while these are customers that may be living in a green space, they're not prepared necessarily to make that same statement that the energy customers are. And, but they are making local decisions and smart decisions that will improve their lives on more of an immediate fashion. They're willing to live green, but again, they're not taking it to the extreme maybe that some of those other customers might. They're more likely to talk first about the fuel savings that they're realizing, followed by what the environmental impact is of their decision to purchase a C-MAX hybrid. As we couple these products to those customers, let's talk about the important elements of what are the best selling points of the, the C-MAX energy. As our first production hybrid uh, for plug-in use, it delivers things you've already heard of, but we'll restate them again because they're very strong points in terms of the uh, appropriateness of this product and why it's so important to us. Over 500 miles of combined electric and hybrid driving range, right? So again, releasing those limitations depending upon what your flexible needs are, both in terms of driving demand as well as what we already talked about for flexibility of the vehicle. An onboard charging station so that equipped with just household current or if you go out and purchase the upgrade to go to a 240 volt current, you've got very good charging time, right? Far less than the Chevy Volt as an example. So this makes it, again, easy to use, easy to put into your daily use from a customer perspective. And then also, we're planning on delivering targeted um, advanced technology partial zero emissions vehicle emissions capability, or ATPZEV for short. And for those of you that want to ride in those high occupancy lanes in California, as an example, that'll be an important enabler uh, for this product in that market and other markets that will use those kinds of limitations. Again, the other element that we wanted to talk about for uh, important competitive positioning on this product is delivering the MPG equivalent that's better than the Toyota Prius plug-in, as well as the electric driving range that's better than that Toyota Prius plug-in. So key selling points really for the C-MAX Energy. The C-MAX Hybrid, again, delivering greater fuel economy than the Prius V. Some, I don't think we're sure that we were gonna actually take on Toyota in terms of hybrid. I mean, obviously the Prius has been around for a long time, does very well. This is about our new power of choice, what we're delivering to the customer, and how fully competitive we are. And it's not just about delivering fuel economy, it's back to that level of delivering versatility for the customer as well. Of course, the element that delivers our fuel efficiency as well as driving range capability, et cetera. We talked about the hardware. So we're really building on the critically acclaimed power split technology that we've had in our first and second generation hybrids. This takes it to an another efficient level for our third generation, again, coupling it with the lithium ion battery. And we operate in those three modes to deliver the best fuel efficiency, depending upon the driving conditions needed for that customer. The other element about this lithium ion battery and what we deliver in terms of the C-MAX products as an example is that greater driving range, greater flexibility, greater overall fuel efficiency, and it's really about delivering that for the customer at every step of the way. Seamless, so it's not a choice they need to make, it's go about their lives, use the product as they, see, as they need to, and, uh, and deliver great fuel efficiency for the customer. The other thing that's important is it's not just about fuel efficiency. I think as Derek went through his presentation earlier, this is about a full product. One of the elements that gave the Fusion Hybrid such great acclaim when it was introduced was the fact that it delivered great driving dynamics. It was a whole car. It wasn't a, an appliance to deliver fuel efficiency. You'll see that same thing in the C-MAX. An interior shot, obviously, of, of the products and you can experience them for yourselves uh, given your uh, attendance today.
but we're building on the technologies and the features and the appointments that you'll already see in today's focus as an example. We build on those things so that you've got not only the flexibility, but a great place to sit in, a great place to drive, as Derek would say, and I'm sure you've heard him in other presentations. So you'll see elements of my key, my Ford Touch, sync, safety technologies like advanced track and roll stability control, curve control, torque vectoring. Those are all elements that we've incorporated into the C-Max. So it's again, not just a vehicle that gets great fuel economy, it's a great vehicle that delivers safety, that delivers smart technology, that de delivers great features, is great to drive, great to sit in. Finally, we think C-Max, be it hybrid or C-Max Energy, are really the right products going forward for us in terms of entering this dedicated hybrid space as we move forward in the, in the marketplace. Again, delivering better fuel economy than facing competitors, better driving range, but really a better driving experience that goes along with it. And in fact, the energy we think is probably the strongest plug-in hybrid vehicle that will be on the market. So I appreciate your time and attention. At this point, I'm going to turn it over to Michael Tinsky. He is the Associate Director of Vehicle Electrification and Infrastructure. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Thanks. Good morning. I'm just going to spend a few minutes talking about the infrastructure side and telematics, and Bill's going to come up and just show you some of our uh, My, Ford, uh, My Ford mobile uh, screens. But um, today I want to talk to you a bit about the infrastructure. So these vehicles are many of the vehicles that we're talking about today plug into the wall. And with that, you have to, you have to obviously charge them. So this particular vehicle, as was mentioned, has a 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger. That's what enables the fully depleted battery to be charged in just over three hours. So what we were challenged with was we need to obviously have a charge station that can provide the power that the vehicle can accept. So we worked with a company called Leviton to co-develop the box you see here on the wall that can provide that kind of power. And um, it's, uh, it's obviously, uh, we're pretty proud of the design. It's highly styled. Um, sorry, there we go, next slide. Um, some of the neat features about this box, um, first and foremost, you can see it's, it's pretty intuitive and a simplified interface. As soon as you plug this box, you plug the vehicle into this box, it does everything it needs to do. There's nothing you need to do as a customer to make this box function. There are some buttons to, if you want to pause and do some other things, but none of that's really necessary. It's also got the ability to, um, uh, as I mentioned, provide the full power. So this is the industry's first home charging station that can provide 32 amps and is certified uh, by, the, by the underwriters lab or UL certified labs um, as being uh, ready for the market. Uh, two other neat features about the box. One is um, it's made out of 60% post-consumer recycled material in keeping with our theme of sustainability. And one of the other features that we are really proud of is behind this box is a standard 240 volt outlet. So if you relocate, it's a simple, take the box off the wall and the box goes with you. So we're pretty proud of those features uh, going forward. So now that you have a box, we need an installation partner. And we looked uh, for some, a brand uh, that uh, consumers know and trust. And that partner is Best Buy. Uh, you may have, you, you're familiar with the, the Geek Squad, and they'll take the, the, the installation process um, from, from start to finish and make sure that our customers experience um, a, great, a, a great install. Now the other thing, the, all of the features I've mentioned, including the installation, we're at an industry leading price point for a standard installation, which includes the box of $14.99. Now right now there's a 30% tax credit that actually takes that uh, installation down even further. So you get all of this and, and finally um, we have an industry leading warranty. So the box is warrantied for 10 years from point of installation. So once again nothing to worry about as you move forward uh, relative to your, your charging experience. We'll, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll have some questions afterwards if you don't mind. Um, from a public charge station peer point of view um, we've been working pretty closely with utilities, governments, and municipalities to help evolve the public charging infrastructure. And as you can see on the screen, and here's a, an example of what you'll see street side, um, we're pretty proud of those results. Every char public charge station is not only compatible with the Focus Electric and other products, but it will also 
uh, most of, well, let me put it this way. We are, all of the charge stations that we have been working with, which includes all the manufacturers you see on the screen, are, have sized their charge stations to be able to take advantage of the higher power the Focus Electric can draw. So if you go make a stop at, at uh, any retail outlet, you'll be able to charge at the rate um, that the Focus Electric can accept. The other, the other uh, feature that we've been working with, uh, with many of the charge station manufacturers, is something we, is, is, is reservations. So think about going from point A to point B, and you know you need to charge at point B. You can actually reserve a charge station, prepay for that, and then you, you know that when you arrive at your destination, that charge station is available and you'll, you're sure to charge. So who's installing charge stations? Well, there's, there's many, many companies, but the companies up on the screen are the ones that have, have announced a national program. Um, for example, Walgreens has made an announcement that they're gonna install charge stations at 800 of their locations across the US. So within, uh, say, say you had a shopping experience uh, that lasted 30 minutes. Within that 30 minutes, if you were charging, this vehicle could actually accumulate 15 more miles of driving range. So once again, a big benefit of having that larger onboard charger is when you make these short stops and there's a charge station available, we can actually get some significant range added to the vehicle. So Eric went into my Ford Touch, so I won't, um, I won't go into any more details for the sake of time, but I just will say that that is one of our uh, key features that we're adding to our electrified products that offer the customer more information that can get to their destination, manage their energy, and make sure they're driving in the most efficient manner. And all of those features of that will really help the drivers of our electrified products minimize their CO2 footprint and, and minimize their, their, uh, their bill, electric bill that is. So now I'd like to introduce Bill Frickman who will come up and demonstrate a little bit on our My Ford mobile application. Bill? Thank you, Mike. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for the opportunity to speak with you. Uh, you've heard a lot about our electric vehicles and our plug-in electric vehicles and Mike talking about charging stations. Our My Ford mobile application, it really helps bring it all together. It's an example of Ford using smart technology to deliver the green lifestyle. So it's, uh, we'll launch it with the fork, we're launching it with the Focus Electric. It's a smartphone application. It'll be available on iPhone, Android, Blackberry, just like I show here. And actually, I just want to walk you through it, actually show it to you live, if I may. So again, it's a smartphone application. You'll see um, right here, on, just on uh, the first screen is a snapshot of everything I really need to know, the critical information around my electric vehicle. The battery, 77% state of charge. My range, 74 miles. And I'm saying my range because my wife's range her driving style may be a little bit different. So we actually personalize the driving style and the range based on the driving style. I can uh, hit my car and even understand exactly how much CO2 I've saved, how much CO2 hasn't gone in the air uh, out in the atmosphere because of my electric vehicle. And, and of course, dollars and cents, how much money I've saved and not buying, uh, uh, in, in a living the gas-free lifestyle, if you will. Uh, but beyond that, our My Ford mobile application brings a lot of industry exclusive functionality, functionality you don't see in other EV apps, such as charge station location embedded right here in the application. So you can see our vehicles is actually, my vehicles here, Michigan Assembly, and if I'm going to Dearborn, I can actually touch, hit a charge point. Those are the green icons that you see. They're green because I know I have plenty of range to get there. And I can look at the charge location at Dearborn City Parking by my office and actually get details on that charge location. They have both 120 volt and 240 volt access. And in fact, it's a public charge station. And again, in linking all of our smart technology together, I can send this location directly from my phone into sync in the vehicle. It's there, ready to go. I can navigate straight to that charge location when I jump in the vehicle. So uh, a, a totally complete integrated technology solution for the EV lifestyle. In fact, of course, what's critical in an electric vehicle is that plug-to-plug -plug lifestyle. And, and in fact, we help you, again, unique in my Ford Mobile, plan your route and make sure that you have range, even in, with, the, with the great numbers we're seeing for Focus Electric, that you have the capa capability to get everywhere you need to go. In this case, I can, um, I can actually search, um, let's say, Starbucks. 
if I can type it in here. And uh, My Ford Mobile, through our integration with MapQuest, will actually, um, will actually um, go out and search local Starbucks locations. It helps if I can spell. There we go. And uh, we'll search Starbucks locations and actually show any number of locations that you can see here. And actually, again, help you plan. You can go to Starbucks, then get to the office, and actually get home with confidence. And that's, that's the biggest part of the electric vehicle. And then finally, in terms of uh, actually integration with the vehicle, we have all the standard remote functionality, a lock, unlock, preset it so the car's warm uh, when you start in the morning, critically important on a Michigan morning like we had here. And, uh, and I'll just show you our, uh, actually our, our, our driver data. It allows you to look at how, you're, how you've been doing. Eric mentioned the brake score. Uh, he's doing a little bit, little bit better than I am because my brake score is 10%, so I need to improve that. But it's all right here in the electric vehicle app. And uh, of course, you can't be connected if you're not connected to Twitter or Facebook. So with the My Ford Mobile app, we can actually share our accomplishments back in those you know, very uh, fun and stimulating social media opportunities. So that's a quick overview of My Ford Mobile. It allows you to uh, to really you know, be connected with the vehicle and connected with the electric vehicle lifestyle through integration uh, with the charge point locate with the charging stations through route planning through understanding how you're driving what your range is all that capability right here in your in our my Ford Mobile smartphone application. So a quick overview, Mike. Um, back to you. Thanks, Bill. Thank you very much. So uh, last two slides. Uh, first, I wanted to mention about uh, Ford and a, and a unique partnership with a company called SunPower. And what that is is really the ability to charge your vehicle and offset your driving, uh, your driving with electricity generated on the roof of your home. And we designed a system that has purposely been, uh, that we looked at every cost opportunity and we looked at uh, sizing it for the Focus Electric. And essentially, it's called Drive Green for Life. It can provide energy on your roof for about 12,000 miles of electric miles driving per year. And then within a period of time, it obviously will be paid back and then essentially you could be driving for free. And we call it Drive Green for Life. I can talk more about or answer questions later on that one. But let's, um, let's switch gears a little bit to what are the real, we, we talked about the environmental benefits and all of the coaching, but let's talk explicitly about what it costs to drive electric. So this chart on the first one shows a 40 mile per, gal 40 mile per gallon vehicle that uh, when and what it costs to drive an 80 mile trip. You can see up here that 40 mile per gallon vehicle, which as you know is, is a very good uh, gasoline range, gets about, is about $7 to do those 80 miles. Switch over to the Nissan LEAF and driving electric and you're around $2 to, uh, to drive that 80 mile range, a very low cost. Switch over to the Focus Electric with value charging and you can start to see even greater benefits because you're charging when the electricity rates are the lowest. And that value charging powered by Microsoft feature that we offer allows that um, to happen automatically. You set it and forget it and, and essentially you enjoy that. And then finally, uh, the last bar shows that eventually your drive green for life system that I just spoke about, which has a 25 year warranty by the way, will eventually be paid off and essentially you could be driving for free using that system. So with that, uh, I'd like to wrap it up. Thank you very much.